Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lawrence Prince, living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant, prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like to cast his dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Aye. I'll show you. I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. Now follow on. I have one last secret to share. How long have you been one of these assassins, eh? A couple years now. I met Atabai in Spanish Town. And there was something about him I trusted. A sort of wisdom. Is all this his idea? His clan. No, sir. Assassins and Templars have been at war for thousands of years. All over the world. The natives of this new world had a philosophy like our creed for as long as they've been here. And when Europeans arrived, our group sort of matched up. Cultures and religions and languages keep folks divided. 
But there's something in the Assassin's Creed that crosses all boundaries. A fondness for life and liberty. Sounds a bit like Nassau, no? <laughs> Close, but not quite. Here we are. Take that stone you discovered from the Mayan Stella and put it there. That's one. Couple dozen more and you're in. And what will this effort gain me? Respect for a start from the men and women you put in danger here. And if that ain't enough, there's a treasure behind that door. Something many centuries old. I reckon if you made the effort to find every last one of those, it'd be worth your while. So are you sailing back to NASA? When I have another contract there, right? Eh? This is my home for now. This is the new Libertalia, eh? Stinks the same as every other squat I've robbed this past year. Oi, oi. Why the long face? You fallen in love? <laughs> father With your blouse. You're welcome to Nassau, gents. Everyone is that does their fair share. Yes, yeah. What is this, a fucking monastery? Um, we was uh, led to believe that Nassau was a place where men did as they pleased. Safe keeping others from doing the same. Captain Thatch, as I live and breathe. What is this magnificent muzzle you've cultivated? I fly a black flag on a black beard, will do. What brings you two gents this far north? Cuban governor himself is fixing to receive a massive gold from a nearby fort. Until then, it's just sitting there, itching to be took. Governor Torres himself, eh? Sounds promising. Oh, 
Welcome to Nassau, Captain Vane. Mr. Rackham. Now, uh, where can a man find a bit of rough? Do you know what I mean? Ahoy! On a bargain, I'll warrant. Even she's to die carrying that here. 